you and me, we share something in common. We respect the old gaming consoles. We love the old games, and we know that some of the best games that were ever created were on some of these old consoles. Some of these cartridges have seen better days. They've been neglected over time, left in boxes, long forgotten in dirty basements or attics. But I'm gonna teach you some really cool, easy tricks to where you can get these carts to look like new. Sometimes when we purchase these old cartridges, we find them for a really good deal because the labels are all scratched up or ripped apart, and we might want to be able to replace those. Maybe you didn't know that you could do that. Yes, you can. You can go to eBay over to Burna Mayer's store. A link in the description will be provided. And you can see he has other items for sale like Yu-Gi-Oh cords, but he also has the backs of the, like the, the stickers that go on the back of the carts. He has those available just in case you want to replace one on the back that may or may not be torn. He has all kinds of different labels that you can get from Super Nintendo to the Nintendo 64 and the regular Nintendo and on. So be sure to check out his store. Now there are a difference between carts. You have three screwed carts and then you have the five screwed carts here. Aside from the difference in number of screws, they also have a difference in the way they hinge together. The three screwed actually hinges from the top while the five screwed, you can just pull it apart. There are also different screws in each car. You will need to get yourself a specific uh, bit for that. And also to clean up your cartridge, you're going to need to get the 1UP card. So we're going to go to oneupcard.com. And this is exactly where you're going to find what I'm using to fix my cartridges. And I tell you what, it's pretty fantastic. I've gotten cartridges that looked terrible, and for only $12.95, I mean, I've cleaned every cartridge that I have, and I still have plenty left over for many, many more cleanings in the future. Now, another thing that we're going to need, as I mentioned, was the specific screwdriver for the Nintendo cartridges. If we go to eBay and type in NES screwdriver, again, a link to this will be provided in the description. Now, I recommend getting the uh, the double set because you get them for multiple kinds of cartridges and that might be useful for you in the future. And you can choose where it is coming from, whether you want it from North America or worldwide, depending on how long you want to wait. Now, this is the three screwed cart and you can see that it has to hinge open from the top there and it closes exactly the same way. For the five screwed carts, we're going to use a flathead screwdriver to get inside of here. And we're going to open this guy up. It takes absolutely no time. Sometimes the screws may or may not be rusted inside of there. Um, you could probably use a small drill bit and drill out the tops of the screw if you needed to to get inside of there without damaging anything uh, permanently. But I didn't have to do that, thankfully enough. This cartridge was in pretty decent shape other than the terrible label on the front but I found a great opportunity to restore this and show you guys how to go about doing that I felt that was be you know that would be in good information for some of you especially you collectors out there and we're using the one up card now it has a fluid side and a dry side and I'm just gonna go over the contacts here of the card that's inside of that cartridge and I'm going to shine these guys up. Again, this cartridge was not in too terrible condition, but I have dealt with some very grimy uh, contacts in the past, and this stuff will clean it up no problem. He guarantees his product by 110% money back, so he will give you money if, if his shit don't work, basically. So that's a pretty good guarantee. Now, in the event that your cartridge does not restore, there is another trick that I like to use. I like to use a heat gun on high heat, and keeping it moving all over the cartridge. What's this doing? It is reflowing the soldering points that are on this game. You see, when games sit out over time, when they sit in boxes or when they sit in attics and things that are uh, not, uh, what's the word, temperature controlled, things like that. Uh, you know, you have it sitting in the summer and you have it sitting in the winter and these things will, over time, cause the soldering points and just things to break inside of these cartridges and while this may not fix the cartridge every single time it definitely helps my games and I live in Indiana 
you know where it might be nice and sunny at 72 degrees at noon and then freezing cold and snowing and blowing winter blizzards at 3 in the afternoon. I swear to God, Indiana is the only state in America where Mother Nature has Alzheimer's. So to get this old label off, I'm going to use a plastic razor blade and I'm going to fill up a sink here with hot soapy water and I'm going to let that soak for a while. And after it has soaked, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to scrub it up a little bit. And then I'm going to dump some alcohol on this label and I'm going to let that soak in for about 5 to 10 minutes. After I let it soak for a while, I go at it with my plastic razor blade. This keeps you from, you know, if you use a real razor blade, like an actual metal one, you can really cut up and notch up the cartridge. Uh, the plastic on the cartridge and we don't want that we want this to look really really nice so if you use plastic razor blades you don't risk that and I will provide again a link for you in the description to some plastic razor blades after we let this label soak in the alcohol for about 10 to 15 minutes you will find that it will easily remove with that plastic razor blade Now we have rinsed off the cartridge. It is looking fantastic, brand new, as if it has never even had a label on it. And we're going to replace our old label with the new label that we purchased from Burnham Air. I'm sure if you wanted to, and if you researched it a bit, you could learn how to make your own labels. If that was something that you wanted to do, you could do custom labels that way. Of course, be aware that when you are replacing these, it... If you're doing it to a cartridge like this one was, where the label looked like crap, uh, replacing a label and making like with one of these labels, it's not gonna take the value down any. It's also not going to raise the value up any either. It's basically going to be worth about the same. Now, some collectors can spot differences in these labels because some collectors have really keen eyes, and I've also noticed that some of these labels say things like unofficial. Nintendo seal of quality and that's the kind of thing that will turn a, a potential buyer from a collector you know it'll, it might make them not want to buy it from you but again we're not doing this to up the value of the cart we're doing this because we want the cart to look nice and we want it to look new for our collection so keep that in mind guys collectors may spot things in this and they might call you out and say oh this isn't really worth sixty dollars or whatever because of this sticker isn't original don't let that detour you if you want it to look nice for your collection this is a great way to make that happen and you can see that that went on very easily as you would imagine it would you just start from the bottom and work your way all the way up to the top and peeling off the back as you go To put this thing back together, we're going to lay the top part of the cartridge face down, and then the side of the PCB that has the chips and all of that, you're going to lay that facing down as well. Again, the five screwed carts, they fit together just flat, while the three screwed carts hinge back together. And I'm going to screw this thing back together with the screws here, and we're going to take a look at this. Look at what it used to look like. That is old and battered and brand new. Doesn't that look great, guys? Very, very easy stuff. You can do this yourself. It doesn't take a whole lot of skill. You just got to know what it is you got to buy to do it, right? That's what this video is all about. Now, no game is complete without a new case, and sometimes you can find the original cases on, on eBay or whatever, but in the event that they're too expensive, these cases are a great substitute. You can see this is an alternate art case. And I got this from Custom NES on eBay. A link to his store will be provided in the description. And you can see that he has plenty. I mean, there isn't really a game I don't think this guy can do. He even did a special custom one for me in a specific game that I will show you here in a little bit. But what I really love about his cases is that they are actually meant for the Nintendo cartridges. You can see there's a spot in there for the books. And the, the, the cart itself actually fits nice and snug in there it doesn't jiggle around 
Now, this is the custom one that he made for me, and this is for Holy Diver. I couldn't find a case for this anywhere on the internet, and I just happened to ask if he would make one for me. He said yes, and now it is available in his store for everybody else who has that game. How cool is that? And if you do not like the look of those big black cases, you can also find some smaller cases that might take up a little less space on your shelf and not hang off the edge or whatever if that's something that bothers you. Retro Game Gallery. I will provide a link to his store in the description and you can go through his library. He has all kinds of stuff. He also has stuff, um, uh, fan-made games, that kind of thing. They both carry those kinds of things. It's just maybe you like the smaller, lower profile case as opposed to the, the wider case. It might stick off the edge, as I mentioned, of your shelf. It's all up to you. I think both of these cases are excellent quality cases. Now, there's a difference. These look more like the cases that we would rent games in back in the 90s. Uh, and these cases kind of look more custom and just, I, I don't know, I like these better, I think. I, I personally, I would like to have an entire collection of these. But, thank you all so much for watching. I hope I taught you something useful, something that you can use. And I will see you in the next video.